Yo, what up YouTube? It's Rain. The ma 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 mask. So back with a uh, a quick look. So these are I I I think there's something special. Um, so they came out. I was gonna say last week, but it doesn't matter when last week was because I don't remember what the date is today. So last week could be any time in it. But anyway, so here they are. So this is the um, Asics. Joe Light 3 Reigning Champ collaboration. So a lot of people in the UK, I think, and maybe I'm speaking out of term, but I'm gonna say it anyway, probably don't know about Reigning Champ. So Reigning Champ are um, a, a Canadian brand, um, and they do kind of like rugged sportswear, um, like the, the stuff that you wear in your boxing training and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they pride themselves on pride themselves on using premium materials and they've got their factory actually in Canada so it's not like a sweatshop kind of thing. What they did, they did a collaboration or what this is, this is a collaboration with ASICS um, and well I'm going to get into it and show you. So these are them, so they came in three different colourways. Um, they came in a black which I've got, they came in a navy blue and then they came in like a, um, uh, a grey. Uh, yeah, they came in a grey. Now, when you're looking at these, you're looking at these for what they pride themselves on is detailing. Detailing and quality of material. So, this is a normal Gel Light 3 silhouette, but let's look at some of the detailing, which supposedly makes it special. So, the suede is a, a, a decent quality suede. Um, I'm not sure if it does all that. You probably can't make it out on this camera because the camera's not, not as good as the other one. But um, take my word for it, the, 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 the quality in regards to the suede is actually really good. Um, so good that I'd probably, I'm actually a bit scared to wear these outside. Um, if it rains, you're stuffed, mate. You're just stuffed. Um, going down to the midsole. The midsole is a speckle material. So speckle kind of like um, the Oreos or just normal speckles that you see on like any kind of like Nike trainer, I believe. Um, and then the actual sole is like an off-white material. It's not a brilliant white, it's an off-white. Like a brilliant white would look like this. So if you compare, if you compare the two, you could almost call it a cream, but these are brilliant white and that's an off-white. Um, now, detailing. So, almost looks purple here, doesn't it? You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. One second, one second, one second. Maybe that makes some difference. Maybe a little bit. So, you can probably just make out the suede. Now, if you're getting close, you can see here that this material is almost like a, a tracksuit material or, 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 or a densely woven fabric, which is quite cool. It's actually quite cool. And it allows for some breathability and stretch. Um, you can't make out that there. Anyway, then you go around to the back quartile of the trainer. So this is the Gel Light logo or the Gel Light um, wording is like in a, I want to call it like a pat leather, but I just believe it's like a plastic. But obviously it's like a, um, a shiny kind of leather if anything or a shiny kind of plastic which is quite cool then you've got this different kind of stitching I don't know what you'd call it it reminds me of something like you know in saw when the man just stitch up someone quickly and just put a clock inside them and say let's play a game and all that kind of shaggery looks like that kind of stitching but it's a, it's, it's, it's a good quality stitching for a trainer you, you rarely see that kind of stitching on or on a trainer from what I've seen just getting close and just boom skin. You can make that out. You can see that. Sorry if the camera is a bit jerky. Shouts out to Elijah. Hopefully you're not seeing sick, mate. Um, yeah, so you can see that there. Um, and then you've got the Raining Champ logo on the bottom. And then more of that ASICS detail in there. Okay? But that's just traditional with all ASICS anyway. Then... The actual trainer comes with an additional pair of laces. These are actually waxed laces. Wax laces are always the one that work for me. Um, and then on the in the inside of the trainer, you've got the Rain and Champ Athletic Wear logo. Okay. 
a nice little touch there. Um, it was a, for me. It was an unexpected collaboration. I I, I never I, I never tried. I wasn't going to pick these up, and then I saw them, and I thought, okay. Then I saw the on foot high resolution pictures, and I thought, yeah, man. Let me just get these and just sling them in the collection. Retail was one twenty. Um, that this better come off, otherwise I'm just going to go mad. Oh, oh yeah, it will. Yeah, retail was one twenty. Um, they are reselling for. A little bit above that maybe about 200 to 180 um, but I think it's a nice clean black trainer to be worn wherever you want to wear it you get me shouts out to the ASIC fans because you are getting you lot are getting some mad things right about now I know there's more mad things coming but anyway it's rain the mask signing O U T out See you.